friend. You can it's have a quiet word with. It's worse. It's, it's worse. worse. No. It's worse. Because I, I work know. for I'm them, cool. I'm, I'm not cool. allowed to touch this guy or anything. Oh, you're, not, even you're, not, him. you're not allowed. You're obviously, not allowed you're, you're not allowed to touch anybody, are you? Because that's a criminal offence. It's called assault. Clearly, some things go beyond mediation. You can't reason with the people who are totally unreasonable. There are some people you have to take effective action to, whether it's getting them evicted or whether it's taking other legal action. But in the main, you know, we all do have to live together. We all have to jostle along and we have to understand each other's problems. And the only way you do that is doing what the two Sharons do. Yeah, confront <laughs> each other, but talk and try to put yourself in and understand the other person's point of view. And if you do that, you might end up, who knows, loving thy neighbour. Take care of yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>0990 for bids for that wedding dress. Plus, that's the number if you would like to speak to Anne, to Drew and Libby and Mark Little. And I know it's awful because do people do this all the time? Do people say to you, hey, Madge? Yes, I don't answer to it, though. You don't? No. I answer to a lot of things. <laughs> but that, no. Because you have done... <laughs> Not outside of the studio. Yeah, well, exactly, because you've done many other things, yeah. haven't you? A lot of theatre work. Yes. But can we talk about Neighbours this morning? Uh, yes, of course we can. Jolly good. Now, you and... Oh, Harold. Woo. I love Harold. You like the jowls, do you? He's... Woo. He's wonderful. <laughs> now, are you great pals in real life? We are. Yes, we get along fine. Now, we sort of... Um, we have a go at each other, but it's all terribly friendly. And does he... Is he involved in the writing of the show as well? Not anymore. He was. He used to... Before he left... Because we, we've both come back in recent years. Before he left, he used to write one script a month. But I don't. They won't let him. Oh, what a shame! Mm. He's great. Well, look. I think <laughs> we ought to see where Madge started, the okay. very beginning, and a little bit of oh Madge. Oh my God! Let's, Let's have, have a look, look. at this. Yeah. Hi, Madge. Hi. Remember me, Shane? Shane. Good Lord, so you are. You dressed up like that before? Oh, I'm a chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> this is getting beyond weird. We're problems with youth. Look at them. <laughs> Can I say, you do get up to some incredibly bizarre and I very know. funny things. I twisted my ankle doing that. I got so carried away and so enthusiastic, and, and the, um, the driveway's a bit uneven, and I went over on my ankle. 
That was a Serves me right for hamming it up. <laughs> it's very <laughs> fun. Any favourite moments from the park? Yes, there was one. I mean, I don't know about favourite, but it, it was fairly spectacular. And it was Vivian Gray who played Mrs Mangle, Myra de Groot who played Eileen, and myself. And I was learning to drive, and I drove a car into a fire hydrant. And we were all three there together, and the fire hydrant exploded, and we got soaked. And they were wearing their bowling ladies' outfits, the, the hats mm. and the white, the white dresses and the bowling bags. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank God, it was a summer's day. Yes, otherwise... Well, it was a definite one-shot wonder. There was no way we were going to be able to repeat it. So, happy memories, but you did leave for a while. I did. I left for five years. Why was that? Um, I bought this wonderful house in Ireland, and I sort of wanted to live in it. Now, that and I, I also find wanted amazing. to do some theatre. But uh, coming to Ireland from Australia, it's a, it's a long way to go for a sort of holiday home. Not as far it? as you can go, really. It really is. Why yeah. Ireland? Uh, I fell in love with it, particularly the West Coast. Um, I'd been to the West Coast a couple of years before. I'd been to Dublin several times, and then I went to the West Coast and I just went crazy about it. So I bought in Galway. And have you still? You still? Oh yes, yeah, I'm back there. At the moment. Well, I will be back there on Monday. So how do you come out of Neighbours if you're in Ireland? Oh, well, they were very good to me. They gave me five and a half months off. They won't do five it again. Five and a half months? Yeah. I asked them early in the year, and uh, I thought they won't do it. And they did. But you and keep thought, going back for more, though, for Neighbours. Yeah, I'll go back next year, but they won't give me even a minute off next year. They've well, I don't blame them. Me. You're one of our favourite <laughs> characters. We need oh, you on the show. You.